Drain still lazy, Vim. Be lazy. With Vim. Another cozy that I've apparently only driven once. Take me back. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's probably the best scenario for me. So, the next car is the Rotary B, which apparently handles really, really... I mean, this car's not exactly stable. That last Cosy was way more stable. God. Hope this, ca this Cosy was the earlier version of the Cosworth. This is way worse. Even though this is in the dry. Um, no, I'm. I'm pretty sure I'm now going to be driving the flea. Driving the the rotary. Really difficult to drive car through Norway in the snow. Which, if it had to be a rain stage, I guess. But at the same time, I feel like. Like, because uh, snow isn't actually that bad. It's not. It's not super slippery. God, this car feel, handles like ass. Maybe it'll prepare me for that. Uh, for the mosquito. Yeah, it really wasn't great.
ta ta ta. Just found out that uh, apparently Discord tries to guess whether you're male, female, or non-binary, which can you imagine if it looks? Surely one of the things it does is looks at your uh, profile, looks at your pronouns, and if it's anything but, uh, if it's he, him, or she, her, boom. Easy. But yeah, totally not spyware, guys. Entirely valid data. I would love for it to effectively go for, um, like pronouns are super important to it, that it's been super hard trained that people's pronouns. So all the people that put dumb shit in their pronoun box, automatic, like that's a marker for non-binary because it's not he, him or she, her. That would be quite funny. Yeah, well, it's important for data selling purposes, isn't it? Because people still... Society still considers the difference important, and therefore selling things to one set of people is important to selling pe things to the other set. And societal training is a thing, because, like, you get trained from a young age if you're considered a dude. You get trained from a young age that sticks and cool rocks. Which is actually why I think that furries, you get more cat girls, but dog boys. Because the dog boys, they appreciate the natural inherent value of a good stick. A good naturally occurring bit of wood, it's important. Although I did see a post on Reddit earlier, mildly interesting. Uh, this this rock looks very similar to a piece of bread or whatever, to a, a, a piece of bread. And the funny part is, I looked at that and thought, before reading the title, thought, why is there someone taking a picture of that stale piece of bread on that bench and posted it? Holy shit, no, that's a rock, what the fuck? Yes, it does look like a piece of bread. That's very cool. I don't think my mum understands. Me and the dog, we understand the rock and, and the stick. Try to eat it, yeah. Got this bit of bread, mate. Don't worry about the weight. Just take a good, healthy bite. It looked buttered, that was the thing. It was like, brutal. It had, like, it looked like someone had just taken one... You know, you, like, you hit, hit a warm bit of crusty bread 
like a baguette type bread. You hit a warm bit of that with a, sp a boom, boom, just one spread. You know, you get it on the knife and then you boom, one spread. It looked bang on like that. Let's see. I think it was mildly interesting. It was either that or interesting as fuck. Could be either. Mildly. Rock. Interesting. Interesting as fuck. I doubt this will be the correct one. Like a rock. That's 24 hours. It was mildly interesting. How is it not at the top of the fucking thing? I'm just gonna put this here for pos for posterity on the the recording. By the way, are you ready to see a piece of bread? Like seriously. Scroll I'm scrolling. Why oh, someone posted a bit of bread? What's this about? I found a rock. You can see why I had to do a double take on that one while scrolling. You know, like why is someone posted the piece of bread? What's, what's the interesting tale behind this bit of bread? I go to Reddit, it's really annoying that Reddit becomes more and more... It, it likes anything you click on that's of mild interest, it grabs onto. It doesn't seem to understand that the reason I've ever used Reddit is either to get information or I'm there scrolling because I'm bored and I want really kind of meaningless just stuff just meaningless stuff give me some nice pretty pictures of things some bread that look some rock that looks like a bread there are the comments are mostly i don't fucking believe you uh which is of yet not been substantiated because that is the only picture there's no side picture that proves that it's a rock or anything like yeah from this angle it looks like bread 100% is there a side picture that proves that it's you know that breaks the illusion no not yet so it could just be stale bread OP has never encountered stale bread before Fuck. This car. That's interesting. At 144 FPS. Um, wow, I'm going so slow. Has something genuinely happened to the times here? Because my best is only two seconds faster than that, and yet I'm in like seventh. In ninth on the stage. Yeah, I was just about to say. Interestingly, 144 FPS, an hour is 500,000 frames. I'm actually really interested in that frame count thing. I think it will be most interesting when I... Sometimes I open Xenotic and because in Xenotic I'll like... I'll tab out when a map's not interesting me anymore or if I want to watch something. And I'll just leave the game open because it doesn't use much resources. It can run in the background. 
and I've got it set to mute when I'm not tabbed into it so I don't hear anything and sometimes I forget I've got the game open and then I remember then I open it and I go when did I open this and so having the frame counter there would be nice to just sort of have a look and go hmm so I opened it that many frames ago and I run Zenotic at 250 frames a second so 4 seconds is a 1000, so divide by a 1000 and times by 4. And that's how many seconds it's been open for. But it'll give me some sort of idea. And if I can work out what an hour is, like I just did here with 144, where it's roughly 50, 000, uh, 500,000 frames, I'm going to lose this rally. Thank God winning the rally is not in the requirements for this uh, this speedrun. Stop telling me to reset. I'll listen to your resets when you've done every rally stage in a row. No crashes. No coming off the track. 100% uh, stage wins. I, I reckon it would actually be a real challenge to do that for one country or one group. Joe, you know what? If I keep up the pace I'm grinding at right now, then there's not six days left in this challenge. There is not enough time for someone to do this entire thing if I keep up the pace I'm currently going at with like six, seven hours a day of grinding. I don't think I'll be able to put it in tomorrow. We'll see. Wake up early, put a couple in. If I actually get started at the time that I fucking said I was, because I just moped around on the internet till about 10 o'clock today. If I didn't do that, and instead ripped it from when I actually started, when I got up at half seven. <laughs> if I actually just ripped it from first thing in the morning. Because the the thing I for, the thing I need to probably remember with that as well. If I'm gonna watch YouTube or watch a stream, I could just pop the stream on in the background and do the stream edition thing, where I don't where I have the microphone turned off. That's still an option for the rest of these. The only one I don't want to do is the last one. Wait, I want to be you know talking with the last one and actually pump out couple of adverts for it when I'm grinding. Pump out the adverts while I'm grinding Australia in the dry in Group A and then uh, hopefully people will be in by Australia in the wet. Then after that we run the code Give us the time. I'll tell you what would be interesting. Oh no, it wouldn't really work. Never mind. 
I was going to say, I'd like to send Frankie the script. Get Frankie to run it. Oh, I could do it without the bonuses. See what his average time is across the tracks. I think he's got enough... He's going to have enough tracks that average time would be pretty consistent. And obviously we can see how many tracks he's got. And just tweak it. Like, if he's not played very much of Australia, knock the Australian ones off. But... Or knock the rain ones off if he's not grind, not done any of the rain ones. But I'd like to see what his average compares. Or some some of the better players probably send it to Turbo. What do the averages of some of the better players compare to my average? Because then I want to see. I'll definitely send it to Doma because Doma actually I realised earlier um, after you'd gone. Doma runs on a Mac. So Doma will be able to run the script really easily. He'll know how to run the script. So Doma will be a sick one to send it to. But yeah, I think there's enough data to get like an average. And we'd at least be able to see if something was fishy. Like if someone's barely played any Indonesia, you're going to be able to see. Um, you're going to be able to see in the stats that they've got a lot less tracks done in Indonesia out of the potential maximum I might add in uh, might add in Indonesia to uh, sorry countries like out of Because it'd be easy enough to do. You just take the maximum and divide it by... Like, you calculate the maximum that we've already got. Divide it by either 8 or 7 for the countries. Oh no. Divide it by... Mm, yeah. That no, won't work. You could do it. If I rejigged the numbers that I give each one. And did that. Okay, I might be able to bring this back then. What the fuck happened there with that stage? How did I... I was in 7th on the last stage and now I'm in 2nd and only less than a second off. What the fuck happened there? Okay then. I'll take it. Yeah, fellow Unix enjoyer. Domas will also be interesting because the sheer amount of time he has in this game. He has over 3,000 hours in this game. So seeing his... PB count hours compared to his total hours. Mine is actually not going to be too far off, <laughs> I don't think. I think I'm going to be looking at probably about a third of my hours being actually playing PB tracks. But yeah, Doma has... I mean, let's literally look right now. Where is the lad? Ah, oh, you can't see. Okay. <laughs> Steam, what's it crashed? Let's bring up Steam. See what Doma's got. Doma! 3,646 hours in game. I don't know how long Steam's recently is, but he's got 42 hours in it, whatever recently is. Which, if that's more than me, is insane right now, but I don't know how long recently lasts for. If it's a week, then fucking hell. 
that's a quarter of the time but uh yeah Doma's kind of a mad lad for grinding the the other thing is that's not even his only like high hours over a thousand hour game Because for me, I don't re I, on Steam. I don't have any high hour games except for Cookie, um, not Cookie Clicker, Adventure Heroes, something, an idle game that I used to play a long time ago. Which I only have 600 hours in, which for an idle game isn't a lot. But to be fair, it was kind of my backup idle game while I played Cookie Clicker mainly on. Uh, and I had three installs of Cookie Clicker at the time, because each computer had a different one. I think it was Hero Quest, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, that was my main... That was, that was there. Hey, I'm in the lead now. I started playing that because... Uh, well, actually, I started playing it on the web version before they released it on Steam. But I started playing it on Steam because... I thought it would be, I could have the same instance across all the accounts, across all my computers. Kind of insane. That lad is a grinder. Although he does play quite a lot in the Tuk Tuk, so he's probably only done about three stages. It's taken him so long to do all of them. I am surprised the logging truck is longer than the little monkey, to be honest. The amount of times that the little monkey just spat me off, but I think I understood how to drive. The logging truck taught me quite well how the game handles and how not to get fucked up by it. I learned a lot by playing it. Yeah, the demo. I've still got the demo installed on my laptop. The demo runs on my laptop, the regular game... <laughs> runs? But 20 FPS on ultra, ultra low settings. Actually, I think I uninstalled it, just to stop myself from even trying to play it. I had it installed at one point. I think I... Oh yeah, I installed it because... Um, at the start of the year, I was trying to go as many days as possible without missing a, a daily. Missed the second weekly, which was completely bullshit. Uh, <laughs> managed to miss the second weekly of the year, which was technically the first weekly of the year. First weekly that started in the year. But the other weekly started on the s day before in New Year, so I counted it as the first one. But, um... Yeah, I missed, missed a daily after a little... after not too long, to be honest.
That must have been where you trained your Javiari skills. So you're going to get the record back after Cat Face Germany or are you going to wait until the total completion of Cat Face? Which is in three months, or two or three months really, isn't it? The total completion of Cat Face. So we've got two weeks of Germany. Then a week off season, then two weeks, then a week off season. So we've got two... But eight weeks, so two months. Two months before you go and retake your record. Do you think anyone in Art of Rally, any of the any of the current players, or if you could bring someone in from another game who you think has the the ability to do it, if they were to learn Art of Rally at kind of the skill set of of a top player, and that they would have the motivation and the grind to do it, could lock out. Every, every, uh, what's the first one? Nakamura. The first stage in the game in every group, including bonus. Do you think there's anybody who would be able to do it? Assuming that all of the other people that you're thinking of that could possibly do it. So say you pick Frankie. Well, Turbo, Net. Uh, player Z, late, they're all going for it in at least one class. So some of them might only be trying to lock out Group A. Well, whoever you pick has to try and claim everything on the first stage. Because it's already the most valuable and people are going to fucking... Mostly because people are going to notice. So either... Either that, or any stage, but people are going to try and stop you. A complete lockout on a stage, across every group, but people are going to try and stop you. Do you think anybody has the ability to set such a record that nobody's going to be able to break it while they beat all the other ones? And like, at the start, you might be able to get away with it. You might be able to be a bit cheeky and not tell anybody and do the bonus vehicles. You know, and if no one checks it, you probably get away with it. But once your intentions become clear, you're going to have everybody going for it. I don't think there's anybody who'd be able to do it, to be honest. I don't think there's... I don't think it'd be possible to do. Because you'd have to be so dedicated and just keep going at it. And eventually tire everybody else out that they're bored of playing that track. And you'd have to be beating their world record every day. But the record just gets harder and harder and harder. What I do think might be possible, which I'll do before I uh, 
sign this recording off. I do think it might be possible to get six world records in a class in a country. So take all Finland dry forwards, something like that. I do think that might be possible, but doing it with all classes, which is only 10, think about it. But yeah. Right. Cheers, Turbo.